rickmothefmother.com. Let's take a look at AMD's charts. We're going to be taking a look at different time frames. And I'm going to offer up some analysis here that might explain why we had this explosive recovery of the lows here. And AMD would go on a fantastic run. Now, of course, this is hindsight, so it might seem very obvious, but let's just go through the exercise because in the future, things always do come back and play themselves over and over again. So again, just for educational purposes, let's take a look at the different time frames around this time frame here. Let's call it about April, May of 2018. On the monthly chart, what we see is a perfect bounce on the RSI 50. So 50 RSI bounce on the monthly was one indication on one time frame, which is the big time frame. All right, so that looked good. Next, let's go to the weekly chart. And we can take a, this is a five year weekly. All right, so we're talking about this period here of the lows where we can see again on the weekly such a fantastic recovery and an explosive run now what we can see here based on the uniformity method and all of these methods have introductions so make sure to take a look at the links that I provide in the description of the video all right so let's figure out what the RSI was telling us and we can see that coming off the lows somewhere here corresponding with coming off the lows there this is where the RSI moves out of that range we draw this line like that now it so happens that this line is around the 38.2 level and in this example we can see coming off the lows here we have uniform activity support on this line which is now confirmed with the RSI 50 bounce on the monthly as we saw. So we got weekly and monthly charts showing potential for recovery. Let's take a look at the daily at that particular time frame. So we're talking about daily chart here and we're talking about April, May of 2018. And we can see that there was a daily breakout here of the RSI moving above that range that would have been confirmation that something was happening given what the monthly and the weekly chart just told us the RSI on the daily blasted above that range and something else we can also see that in the month of May we have flat moving averages so the 200 day moving average is flat the 50 day moving average is flat and the only way we can get a crossover the only way you can get a crossover with this type of formation there's only one way where you can go from flat moving averages to the crossover and that is with price explosion so we can see that for this to have taken place the only way this was possible is you needed to see an explosive move in price which is exactly what we got so we have all time frames looking very very desirable monthly weekly and daily it goes to show that when all time frames synchronize good things tend to happen for the sake of study let's take a look at the current situation on the daily we can see that there is a line here where we had a break off the highs there take that line draw our uniformity line should be something like that and we can see that this has been a trouble area so until we can move above this line on the daily we are looking at a stock that should struggle otherwise any movement to the upside would need the stock to clear what has been resistance going back to the break of october 2018. in other words until we can clear this level right here on the daily the next meaningful direction seems to be indicating the next meaningful direction is for a swing trade Lower. Eric Moore with mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. Yeah.